the standard model of stellar energy, nuclear fusion. The prevailing scientific consensus is that stars are powered by nuclear fusion, a process that occurs deep within their cores. Stars like the Sun consist primarily of hydrogen and helium. Under the intense gravitational pressure and temperatures found in the core of a star, hydrogen atoms undergo fusion. This means that four hydrogen nuclei, protons, combine to form a helium nucleus, releasing vast amounts of energy in the process. This fusion process occurs in several stages, releasing energy in the form of light, heat, and other forms of radiation. The most common type of fusion in stars like the Sun is called the proton-proton chain, which is responsible for converting hydrogen into helium. Key evidence for nuclear fusion as the power source of stars includes solar neutrinos, nuclear reactions in the core of stars produce neutrinos, particles that can pass through matter virtually undetected. Scientists have been able to detect these solar neutrinos, providing direct evidence of nuclear fusion in the Sun's core. Stellar evolution. The life cycles of stars are well understood within the framework of fusion. Stars evolve through predictable stages, such as turning into red giants or supernovae, based on their mass and the nuclear processes happening in their cores. Energy emission. The energy released from nuclear fusion inside a star powers its brightness and heat, creating the electromagnetic radiation we see as starlight. The temperatures of the surface of stars and the spectra they emit align with the expected output from nuclear fusion. What are Birkeland currents? Birkeland currents are electric currents that flow along magnetic field lines in space. These currents were first proposed by the Norwegian scientist Christian Birkeland in the early 20th century to explain the auroras, the northern and southern lights. Birkeland currents are created by the interaction between charged particles, such as electrons, and magnetic fields, often seen in planetary magnetospheres, such as the Earth's. Birkeland currents are involved in space plasma phenomena, like auroras, charged particles from the Sun are funneled into Earth's polar regions by its magnetic field, producing stunning displays of light. Magnetospheric physics, these currents are part of the complex interactions between the solar wind and the planet's magnetic field. While Birkeland currents are an important feature of space environments and plasma physics, their scale and influence are primarily confined to specific regions, like magnetospheres or localized plasma structures. The Electric Universe Hypothesis and Birkeland Currents in Stars There is a minority view known as the Electric Universe Theory, which proposes that stars, including the Sun, are powered not by nuclear fusion but by electrical interactions, such as large-scale electric currents like Birkeland currents. According to this view, stars are nodes in a cosmic electrical circuit, drawing energy from interstellar or intergalactic electric currents. Proponents of the Electric Universe hypothesis suggest that stars act more like plasma globes than nuclear reactors with electrical currents, Birkeland currents, driving their luminosity and heat output. However, this theory is not supported by mainstream astrophysics for several reasons. Lack of empirical evidence. There is no direct observational evidence supporting the idea that large-scale Birkeland currents power stars. The observed properties of stars, such as their spectra and life cycles, align well with the nuclear fusion model and not with electrical power generation. Neutrinos and fusion byproducts. The detection of neutrinos from the Sun and other stars is consistent with nuclear fusion, not electrical processes. These particles are generated during nuclear reactions, providing direct confirmation of the fusion model. Helioseismology. The study of sound waves traveling through the Sun reveals internal structures consistent with a star undergoing nuclear fusion in its core. The data from helioseismology does not match predictions made by models involving Birkeland currents. Why nuclear fusion is the dominant theory. Nuclear fusion remains the dominant explanation for the energy production of stars because of the overwhelming evidence in its favor. In summary, thermodynamics and stellar models, the temperatures and pressures in the cores of stars, 
calculated from their mass and observed size, are sufficient to sustain nuclear fusion reactions. No alternative theory, including one based on Birkeland currents, can explain these core conditions adequately. Observational evidence, observations of stars at various stages of their life cycles, from their formation in stellar nurseries to their deaths in supernovae or as white dwarfs, are all consistent with the process of fusion. This model also explains the observed chemical abundances of elements in the universe, which result from fusion processes within stars. Reproducibility and predictive power The fusion model has been extensively tested and can predict many features of stars, from their temperatures and light output to their eventual end states, e.g., red giant, white dwarf, neutron star, or black hole. It aligns with the general principles of physics, including thermodynamics and quantum mechanics. Overall, Birkeland currents versus nuclear fusion in stars. While Birkeland currents are real and play a role in certain space phenomena, such as the auroras on Earth, they are not considered a source of power for stars. The nuclear fusion model explains the energy output, structure, and evolution of stars with strong empirical backing. While some alternative theories, like the Electric Universe model, propose that stars are powered by electrical currents, these ideas have not gained acceptance in the scientific community due to a lack of evidence and inconsistencies with observed stellar phenomena. In the end, the overwhelming body of scientific evidence supports the idea that stars are powered by nuclear fusion, not Birkeland currents. This understanding of stellar energy production forms the foundation of modern astrophysics, cosmology, and our knowledge of the universe.